Apple's gonna be unveiling iOS 17 in just a few months, and if none of these 14 features are included, I don't want it. Okay, so first off, let's temper expectations because according to Bloomberg, iOS 17 will not be some huge feature rich update and instead Apple's main focus is allegedly on the ROS software which is the software for their upcoming AR VR headsets so that leads me to my first wish list item which is actual stability and actual good battery life from day one and throughout all of iOS 17 so similar to what we saw with iOS 12 a few years back I would be okay with this. I would love to just see, you know, better performance, better stability in terms of bugs and just better battery life in general. If we can focus primarily on that, I think everybody would be okay with it. Okay, so now let's move on to some actual features. And the second thing on my wish list is a lock screen overhaul. So there are a few things I would like to see changed here. Now I do love the ability to have the multiple widgets here. I think that's great but I think we need these same type of widgets on iPad OS. So we should be able to have lock screen widgets for iPad OS. And then also down here, the quick action buttons, we need to be able to change these. I'm tired of having this be flashlight and camera, especially camera. It's kind of redundant because you could always just swipe over when you lock your phone, you could always just swipe over to get to the camera. You don't actually need to press that button. So that button just kind of doesn't even make sense to be down there when you have that slide over feature. So I would like to see the ability to change these between a few different things, kind of like how we can add certain toggles into the control center. I would like to see that same type of setup and settings for the lock screen quick actions down here. Now, something else I would love to see Apple add to iOS 17 is something that is a very simple fix. And it's something that already exists on other platforms, but that is to be able to set multiple timers. So we're in 2023 and we still cannot set more than one timer in the clock application, which makes absolutely no sense. So I would love to see there be like an additional button down here that says new timer or some type of way to add like five or six timers if we want to in the clock application. Now the messages application has really taken a big step forward over the last few years. I've really enjoyed the direction that Apple has been heading with the messages application, but I still think there are a few things that can be added. And the first one is going to be typing indicators in group chats. So I think group chats need to have typing indicators when somebody is typing. Maybe down here it can say, you know, that person is typing or maybe just the logo, the little picture right here with their initials or their picture and then is typing kind of like we have on discord or you know other applications like that i would just love to be able to see when a certain person in a group chat is typing and i cannot make an ios 17 video without mentioning interactive widgets so i think that ios 17 does need to bring true interactive widgets now we did see an improvement in widgets with ios 16 we saw more things get added to these widgets but they're still not completely interactive and what i mean by interactive is you know they actually change in real time without having to click on them. Like for example, if it started raining right here, it would show me in that weather application it has started raining. Or like, you know, for example, in the podcast, it shows a little moving bar when that podcast is playing. There's just a lot of ways that Apple can implement, you know, adding real interactive widgets in iOS. I don't think it's really gonna be that difficult for them to do. And I don't think it's gonna be, you know, a big battery drainer because Apple always figures out a way to optimize things like widgets. So I would love to see that. And I would also love to see them add that to iPad OS as well. Now here's something that I highly doubt Apple's going to add, but I would really love to see it. And that is being able to customize the grid spacing between apps on the home screen. Now this is straight from a jailbreak tweak that I used to use all the time back in the day but I would love to see the ability to change the grid spacing. That way we can maybe fit more applications on a screen if we would like to, or move all applications over to one side if we would like to without having to install an app to give us like clear icons. We could just move everything over to one side and just really customize the home screen completely the way we like. Kind of like you can on desktop on Mac OS. I would love to see that for iOS, but again, I highly doubt that's coming, but it is something that's on my wish list and will always be on my wish list. And speaking of Mac OS, I also think that we should be able to add an accent color like we can on Mac Mac OS. So for example, if I go into my settings and go to general, you could see that the button up here in the top left 
is blue. I would like to see the ability to be able to change the accent color throughout iOS to whatever color we choose. And it's not even just in settings. Anytime you go into like messages, for example, like the blue up here could be a different color as well. It could be whatever color you choose your accent to be, or the FaceTime on the right will be a different color depending on the accent that you choose. We should be able to have like a color picker somewhere in the settings, maybe under display and brightness. And then in here you will see something for changing the accent color. One of my most viewed videos here on YouTube is how to have a live photo play on the lock screen, essentially how to get a video playing on the lock screen of your iPhone. And I think that that just proves the demand for something like this. So I think that we do need live photo support for the lock screen without any workaround. So for now, if you put a live photo on your lock screen, of course, now if you tap and hold on the lock screen, it's going to invoke this, but I would like to see the ability to add live photos on the lock screen without any type of workaround. And just saying that makes me really miss 3D touch because you would be able to do two different things with two different presses if we had 3D touch. But now that we have haptic touch, if you press and hold, regardless of the pressure you put on it, it's going to bring up the customized lock screen. But if we had 3D touch, you can maybe do a light press and hold to you know see that live photo and then a hard press and hold to pull up the customize. So I would love to see 3D touch brought back, but obviously that has to do with the display tech and that's probably never coming back. And speaking of the lock screen and wallpapers, that's another thing that iOS 17 absolutely needs. Number one, more wallpapers. I would love to see more than just one brand new exclusive wallpaper for iOS 17, but I would also love to see the return of all of the default wallpapers from iPhone OS 1 all the way through iOS 16, including the dark version of all of those wallpapers. For now, we really don't have that big of a selection in here as far as default wallpapers to choose from. These emoji ones ones just are not it and then you know the collections down here we do have the clownfish right there which is nice but we're still pretty limited with our choices so I would like to see more wallpapers added back even if we have to download them maybe make it optional to download those additional wallpapers since it will take up space I just think that everybody would like to see more wallpapers and the return of all the default wallpapers. Now, perhaps the most useless thing on iOS right now has to be the app library. Now that might be a hot take, but I don't know. I just find myself almost never using the app library. I think that's mainly because we have spotlight search. I just search for every application to open it, but app library, they just need to do something that makes it useful. It makes me want to use it. So not only is it, you know, you got to scroll all the way over to the end to get to it, especially if you have multiple pages, it's kind of redundant and takes longer to do that. But also a lot of times applications are just miscategorized or not even categorized in the right way. So I would like to be able to see something change to the app library, maybe make us, you know, maybe allow us to create our own folders with our own type of, you know, categories. I don't know. I think something needs to change with the app library though. And I do also think this needs to come to iPad OS 17 as well. And here is something that I guarantee you we all agree on. iOS 17 needs Siri improvements. So Apple has been good about this. I will give them credit. Every year, Siri does seem to make a pretty big improvement. But I think iOS 17, especially now with ChatGPT and all these AI you know, tools coming out, I think there's no excuse for Siri not to be great. So I think we need a big leap forward for Siri and iOS 17, especially if that's going to be implemented on the headset and be able to do, you know, more advanced things. I think Siri needs to be, you know, much improved for iOS 17. I would also like to see Apple give us volume controls on a per app basis. So basically if we're in like a game, maybe we could turn the volume down compared to when we're in like podcasts or when we're in music. I would just like to be able to see more control over the volume on a per app basis, whether that's somewhere in the control center or it's somewhere just inside of settings and then under the audio section. Like right here under sounds and haptic patterns, maybe right here we have just a section for apps and then you go into apps and it shows you all the applications. You could set a custom volume, but if you don't set anything, it's just gonna be the default. And then the final thing that we need to see in iOS 17 is side loading applications. Now I do believe this is going to happen based on the laws going on and everything, but I don't think it's gonna be exactly what everybody thinks. It's not gonna be like, 
like jailbreaking where you could just install any type of third party, you know, application. I think it's going to be more like what we could do on Mac OS. On Mac OS, you could sideload applications as well. But I think on the iPhone, there is still going to be kind of a level of security where Apple's not going to allow just a bunch of crazy, suspicious applications to get installed on your device. But I would like to see, you know, things like maybe emulators like N64 emulators or PSP emulators. I would like to be able to see, you know, Apple allowing applications like that to be installed on the iPhone without issue. So there you have it. Those are 14 features I would love to see Apple add with iOS and iPadOS 17. And if you would like to add anything onto this list, leave me a comment down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys would love to see added in the next major version of iOS. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and if you agreed with any of my points I made as far as the new features to add, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my iOS 17 coverage coming later this year. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.